last uh, theme of this presentation. Uh, whether the documents are just, uh, uh, as, as regards the African market. So again, so again, as regards Africa, we do have several countries which used to be the colony of the British at some point in time. We do have some other countries in Africa which used to be French colony at some point in time. And we do have countries which has remained francophone. That is, they are still French, despite the fact that they are, they, are, they, are, they are no more a colony. We do have countries which have re remained anglophone, despite the fact that they are no more the colony of, of, uh, of England. And now we do have uh, we do have countries, as 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 you have taken Mauritius, which have been both at one point in time French colony and one, at one point in time British colony. So, depending, it is very difficult to say whether <coughs> there is in standardisation of documents in, uh, in in Africa because of the different uh, sources of law that exist over there. And, uh, and as you can see, there do exist in Africa Portuguese banks, Brazilian banks, British banks, French banks, and in my view, there can be so far no standardization across Africa. That the, the, the message that the covenants have not really tightened very much, yes. very similar to yeah. the message that we were seeing um, in Europe, uh, in Europe. <coughs> uh, and the um, that sort of tension between what system of law you may have been in your history is uh, is an interesting one to uh, uh, to come up. We may explore that a little further later on. Before we do that, can I just move um, uh, further east uh, and ask David Liu um, if he would tell us about uh, 